In this lesson, I'll be going over the theorem angles in the same segment and we'll be practicing some questions. If you missed the explanation video for this theorem, just click up here or in the description box below. Just remember for angles in the same segment, we're looking out for the bow tie. Looks like this, you can see the bow tie. The angles in the same segment theorem does not involve the center of the circle and the angles must be in the same segment. So you can see that this angle and this angle over here, X is 20. These angles are in the same segment, A and E, if you connect them, that breaks up the circle into this very big segment up here. And then this little segment down here, you can see that X and the 20 degrees are in the same segment. That's very, very important. So remember to look out for the bow ties in this question and remember it doesn't involve the center of the circle. Let's try. I've just completely randomly labeled the different points in this diagram and we're looking for X over here. Now, it's not obvious when you just quickly look at it that you need to use the angles in the same segment, but I'll show you why you need to now. The other thing that I need you to take note of, and this is just very important in geometry, when we approach a question, always look to see if there are parallel lines, which there are. If there are parallel lines, we are maybe going to use the fun angles alternate angles, corresponding angles, or co-interior angles, and also take a look to see if we have isosceles triangles, but we don't here. Okay, so what I see in this diagram is I see these parallel lines over here, this one over there, and this one over here. So I'm looking for X, but first what I can see is that this angle over here is 75 degrees. I don't know if you see what I'm seeing, but I see the following letter over here using my two parallel lines. And connected like that, I see the letter N, or some people think of it as the letter Z like that. Either way, I know that I'm dealing with alternate angles, and we know that alternate angles are equal. So what that means is that if this angle here is 75, this angle here is also equal to 75. Now we have to state that because that wasn't given to us. So angle E, D, C, or however they label it, in this case it's E, D, C, that angle there, is equal to 75 degrees, and the reason I am going to give is alt angles. And remember, when we deal with any of the fun angles, we need to mention what parallel lines are involved. So this line, D, B, parallel to F, C. Now, I hope you can see that this is an angle on the circumference, the 75, and so is this an angle on the circumference. I hope you can see the bow tie. I definitely can. If you start at D and you go to C, start at D and you go to B, then you start again at C and B and you follow this line, you end up at X. What this means is that X is equal to 75, and that is angles in the same segment. There we go. Again, in our second example, the center of the circle is not involved at all. I'm trying to find B and I'm trying to find C. So let's look for B first. I'm looking for this angle over here. I'm starting at A and I'm working backwards. I get to D and I work backwards and I get to C. Then if I start at D and C, but I follow this line and I go to the circumference, I start at C and I go to the circumference. I hope you can see the bow tie. This means that this angle over here is equal to this angle over here. And the reason, angle same segment. And in the same way, this angle over here is equal to that angle over there. So C is equal to 42 for the same reason. If you can't maybe tell that C is 42, let me show you. So start where angle C is over here, follow the lines, we go to A, and follow this line, we go to B. Then we start at A and B, and we go up along this line, we end at C, up along this line, we end at C. There we go, C is equal to 42. You can see once again the little bow tie. It's basically this shape that we are looking for the whole time. So that's X and that's X, and this is Y and that's Y. And our last question over here, this is an interesting one, I'm trying to find X over here. Now there's different ways that we can do this, but I remember what I said earlier in the lesson. Always look to see if they give you parallel lines because that's going to help you because you can use the fun angles. Or if they give you an isosceles triangle like this, that's also very useful because we know that in an isosceles triangle, this side is equal to this side, which means that that angle over there is equal to that angle over there. And that's gonna be very helpful. So I've just labeled my circle. 
So what I'm first going to do, because I saw that immediately, I know there's an 80 there and I'm looking for X and I can work out something that has to do with the 80. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down what I saw. And I saw that this angle over here is the same as that angle over there. Oh, actually, another thing that I'm seeing, let's actually start there. I think this might be easier for some people because of this theorem that we just did. Some of you might be like, ma'am, I'm totally seeing a bow tie over here. You are correct. Let's start there. So what does the bow tie tell me? This angle at the circumference, x, is equal to this angle over here. So this angle here is also x. If you can't see it, start at here where x is, work your way back, we get to d, we get to c. Then start at d and c and move up this to get to a and move up this to get to a. So this angle here is also going to be x. So what will we call this over here? We'll call it d a. I think I called this e over here. d a e. This angle over here e is referring to that point over here. So d a e, which is this angle over here, is equal to x. So again, this one over here is x. And then using the information about the isosceles triangle, you know that if these sides are equal, it means that that angle, if that's x, this angle over here will also be x. Very, very important. So this one over here will also be x. And how would I label that? A, D, I keep erasing my E, A, D, E, A, D, E. E will also be equal to X, and that is angles opposite equal sides. That's the reason that we use when we have an isosceles triangle, these sides are equal, so the opposite angles are equal. Angles opposite equal sides. So we know that's X, that's X, that's X. We're trying to find X. We're given an 80, but what I see, if you look carefully at this diagram, is that this is a straight line. This is 80. So I can do angles on a straight line to find this angle over here. How would you find that star? Well, what would you name that star? I would name it AED. So AED is equal to, well, angles on a straight line add up to 180. And this is 80. So the star or AED must be 100. So I know over here that this is 100. And then I can work inside of this triangle and I can say, well, x plus x plus 100, those are the three angles in the triangle, must give me 180 degrees because of my reason, angle sum triangle. So therefore, 2x is equal to 80, 180 minus 100. So x is equal to 40 degrees. What you could also do instead of doing these two steps is you could do the exterior angle of a triangle. There's my triangle, extend that line, this is the exterior angle of the triangle. The exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles, x plus x. So that would be 2x is equal to 80. So x is equal to 40. And that is exterior angle of triangle. So instead of doing these two, we can just basically combine it and do exterior angle of triangle. I hope that you found this lesson useful. Check out the links in the description box below for more videos, more theorems, more practice. Subscribe for more. Bye everyone.